Hey, what is going on guys? It is Chuck here and today for this Firebot tutorial, we are taking a look at using custom fonts in your overlays in Firebot. So if this is the first tutorial you've seen from me, uh, I recommend you go back and look at the others. Uh, if you're familiar with Firebot or already feel like an expert, uh, feel free to dive right in. Um, but with that said, let's take a look at installing fonts in Firebot. All right. so. When you're getting ready to install a font in Firebot, what I recommend you do is you already have the font installed uh, on your computer and still have the actual font file available. Once you have all of that stuff ready to go, in Firebot, go to the Settings tab down on the left, and we're gonna go over to the Overlay tab. Once you're on Overlay, click Manage Fonts, and then you can install a font. All right, so I'm gonna install Big Noodle 2, which it successfully installed, and I'm also going to install Coverwatch. So I've got two of my fonts. I'll hit close. Now I have to restart Firebot. So let's hit close, and we will restart Firebot. All right, so now that Firebot's been restarted, let's go over to our, uh, to our events tab, and we're gonna update the font in our follow event uh, to use our, our new fonts. So we're gonna click edit here, we're going to go down to our show text effect and you'll see from this list of fonts, we now have Big Noodle 2 and Overwatch. So let's update this to, we'll use, uh, we'll use Coverwatch and you'll see that the 36 size font of Coverwatch is a bit smaller. So we're going to up this to 48 and uh, maybe we make this a different color too, because we can actually change the color. So let's set the color for the text, which is here. To we'll choose a we'll choose a bright green. Why not? Oops, I didn't select it properly. There we go. All right, so you'll see it's bright green now. If we hit play, there it is. Thank you, Hey Apple, for following. Nice. And we could change that font if we wanted to uh, here by switching to Big Noodle Two. And same thing if we hit play, you'll see. And I think I like that better. Okay, let's hit save and let's test this whole thing out. There you go. Now that font's a little bright, isn't it? So what if we make it a little bit more dim? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set the color here using a color code. So I'm gonna switch into the code view because I wanna set this to a custom color. So you'll see here's where our font size is, all this stuff, our font name. We're gonna set our color here to 66, 176, uh, and then 73. And if we switch back to the code, perfect. So this is the correct green we want to use. This will match my alert. If I hit test effect, nice, there we go. That is how you install a font to Firebot. And if you want to customize some of the text that you see on screen, uh, you have full access to the HTML editor and can go hog wild with it. If you want to add a drop shadow, as long as you know some basic CSS, uh, or at least know how to Google your way to greatness, uh, you'll be able to make your on-screen effects look awesome. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you want to see me do in these tutorials, please leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see me tackle next. Uh, with that said, peace out, stay classy, I love your face, and I will see you guys in the next video.